guys, welcome back. So today I created this look right here. I was aiming for dewy glowing skin. This look is super easy to create and I tried to keep most of the products affordable or drugstore related with the exception of a few high-end products. So I hope you enjoy. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's jump right in. I'm starting off by spraying my face with this pixie glow mist i'm going to let that soak into the skin while i do my eyes this is going to help hydrate and prep my skin for the foundation that i'll be applying later on next i'm taking mac paint pot in laying low and applying that to prime my lids i swear i sound like a broken record because i use this in every single video anyways moving on i'm going to set the eyes with the maybelline fit me powder i'm in the shade 240 then taking the AMC Inglot Gel Liner in 94, I'm going to apply this all over my lids as a second base. This is a beautiful champagne shade and it will give the shadows that I apply on top a satin finish. I'm taking the Milani Eye and Face Strobing Palette in Candlelight and picking up the highlight and bronze shade together and applying this all over my mobile lids. And now I'm just going to clean up the edges using the same Fit Me powder that I used earlier. Next I'm using this dark chocolate brown shade and applying a thin line to the roots of my lashes. I picked up this tiny palette for literally $2 from Shoppers Drug Mart. If you're in Canada, you will know what I'm talking about, but you can use a similar shade or even a brown pencil liner will work for this. To tight line, I'm using the Rimmel Exaggerate Liner in 212. This is just a basic dark brown shade. Any basic dark brown shade that you have is perfectly fine for this step here. Next, I'm curling my lashes and applying a quick coat of black mascara. I'm using NARS Audacious, but there are loads of other drugstore mascaras out there you can use. Just any black mascara will work perfectly for this step. For lashes, I used the Flutter Lashes in Intoxicating. What else would I use? I just love how these open up the eyes and it gives it that flirtiness. These lashes are literally my ride or die. You hear me talk about them in pretty much every video. I'm picking up the highlight shade from the palette to just highlight my brow bone. Moving on to the skin, I'm using the Urban Decay Quick Fix Spray to prime. Then to add some radiance to the skin, I'll be using the Melanie Mills Body Gleam in Peach Deluxe. Next, I'll be using this cream highlight from Milani's Contour and Highlight Cream and Liquid Duo. I'm in the shade Natural Medium. I'll be applying this to the high points of my face for an added glow. This will give the skin a lit from within appearance once the foundation is applied. For my base, I'll be mixing the Maybelline Fit Me Foundations. This one is the Dewy and Smooth and the other one is Matte and Poreless. This combo is the perfect texture for my combination skin and the coverage is amazing. I will link my shades in the description bar below if you're interested. I find that it applies best with the damp sponge. I'm using the Beauty Blender to press the product onto my skin so that it doesn't move any of the base products that we applied. For concealer, I'm using Milani's Retouch and Erase in the shade Medium. I'm also going to use it to highlight down the bridge of my nose, the center of my forehead and chin. I'm using a small tapered synthetic brush to spread this out and then go in and blend it out with my beauty blender. I'm lately liking this method a lot better. The brush tends to get close under the eyes and then the beauty blender helps to press the product into the skin and blends it into a smooth finish. Now to set all of this, I'm going to mix the Laura Mercier translucent powder and the Ben Nye banana powder just so that I don't have like a crazy bright under eye highlight and I want this to seamlessly blend into my tan skin. I'm taking the beauty blender again and pressing this under my eyes and all the areas that I applied concealer. An affordable alternative to the Laura Mercier would be the RCME setting powder or the Ben Nye cameo powder. Both are super affordable and available to purchase online. I'll be using the contour shade from the Milani Liquid Duo Stick we used earlier and I'm going to be applying this 
under my cheekbones, jawline, forehead, and on the sides of my nose. Milani did a super job with the contour shades. This is not too warm or cool. It looks very natural without looking orange on the skin and they have five different shades to choose from. To set all of this, I'll be using the Tarte Amazonian Clay Bronzer and go over all the areas that I just contoured. I'm going to quickly fill in my brows. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Definer in dark brown and setting it with the Anastasia Brow Gel in espresso. Now to finish off my eyes, I'm going in with the Rimmel Exaggerate Liner in 212 and popping this onto the lower lash line. I'm going to blend this out with a dark chocolate shade that I had on that small palette and a pencil brush. Next, I'm popping Rimmel Scandal Eyes Liner in Nude onto the waterline. This will brighten the eyes and give them that doe-eyed appearance. I'm going to take the highlight shade into the inner corners of my eyes to further brighten and make my eyes pop. And then applying some mascara to the bottom lashes. This is the MAC Extended Play Mascara. Again, any basic black mascara that you have lying around will, will work just fine. I'm going to take this highlight shade once again on a bigger e.l.f. brush and highlight the tops of my cheeks, temples, down the bridge of my nose, cupid's bow and chin. For the purpose of this tutorial, I am going heavy with the highlight because I want this look to be radiant, um, ethereal, almost goddess-like, especially when it comes to the skin. That is mainly my focus here. Next, I'm going to take the blush pink shade from the same palette and apply that to the apples of my cheeks for a bit of color. To line my lips, I'm using the Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Liner in the shade Palest Pink. And for lipstick, I'm using the Bare Minerals Matte Liquid Lip Color in Ohm. And to finish off the lips, I'm popping Jouer's Lip Cream in Papaye. This is a beautiful metallic peach shade and it really complements the look. Finally, setting it all with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and that completes the look. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Give this a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment down below. If you haven't checked out my other um, previous videos, I will link them at the end of this video, so make sure you check that out. And I will see you all next week. Bye for now.